It is Shiva. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Reds in the building. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin', please? Have you missed me? Did you miss me? Because I missed you. Y'all know I just pop up randomly at this point now. <laughs> Y'all know that I'm a part-time student and I got a full-time job. And baby, I'm a full-time single mom. So baby, look, I got to get in where I fit in. But today, I just got like the spirit to do a, um, what is your wedding going to be like? Pick a card reading, y'all. I wanted to just see like what our wedding is going to be like when we get married what our wedding is going to be like how do we get here who are we marrying like the whole freaking spiel you guys so um i wanted to thank all of you guys for coming in here and clicking this video and just you know spending some time and spreading love with me so um y'all already know it's me but it's she but it's vibra i want to give a shout out to all my ogs a shout out to all my newbies shout out to everybody for liking sharing subscribing and clicking this video y'all so again we're going to get into what our marriage and what our wedding is going to be like today um before we get into any energy you know i always want to just say a quick prayer um to god to just thank him for bringing us here today collectively waking us up and just you know loving on us the way that he do so if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me real quick Father God, I thank you so much for um, bringing us here collectively. I thank you so much for all of the love that you share amongst us. I thank you for bringing us all together. I thank you for all of the new partnerships and connections and wonderful new friends and beautiful open doors with vast lands and a cornucopia of just happiness and blessings that you had just bestowed upon us, Father God. We thank you so much for giving and um, for everything that we, we, we've been, we, we thank you for just being in a, a, a mode of giving and receiving um, a lot of us we have just been giving back and we've been receiving so much father god so we thank you that we have enough to give therefore to receive later father god so we're just in a place of just happiness and just gratefulness um we thank you so much for all of the maturity and grace that you have given us and father god we're here to just find out some information about what our marriage life is going to be like what our wedding is going to be like what we can expect who we're going to be marrying we just want to get ourselves psyched up and pumped up for that event you know that we definitely know is coming into our life so father god just shed some light and um you know some blessings on us today we got two pals so um please let everybody be guided to the message that they need to receive today in jesus name amen amen and amen and father god before i finish this off you already know what i'm gonna say thank you for being a friend boom 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 travel down the road and back again mm -mm. your heart is true you're a pal and a confidant thank you for being a friend boom Alright, okay baby. <clears throat> so, excuse me if I sound a little rustic today, y'all. I'm just, we're coming back from, you know, getting over a cold and everything like that. So, let's get into this. As you guys can see from the thumbnail, we have two groups. <music> two groups um i did not pre-select any cards we just going to go into it okay we're just going to go into it in the blind so this is my group number one if you have selected this sticker right here if you've selected this sticker as well as these little trinkets right here you've selected this group right here this group number one all right and this is group number two you selected this sticker with these little trinkets all right 
Got the little dice here. I should have like had a specific number. Let's roll the dice, y'all. Let's see what number each group get. Let's roll the little dice. Hold on. Let's roll the dice. So group number one is going to be represented by the number four. Alright. So if you pick group number one. You guys are represented by that sticker and the number four. This is the little dice for group two. So group two, let's see what number you guys are represented by. You're represented by the number one. So if you picked group two with that sticker and the number one, that is your group. So let's move group two over to the side here. And we're going to get into group number one. So again, if you picked this sticker with these trinkets and the number four on the dice. Here we go. Let's see what your wedding day is going to be like in your whole marriage experience. Let's get into it, you guys. Let's get in to eat, shall we? Alright, let me put this back up here. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so group number one, let's have some fun. Let's start off with three cards. Tell me what your wedding day is going to be like. What is group number one's wedding day going to be like? Tell me information about group number one's wedding day. What is group number one's wedding day going to be like? I'm feeling some like kind of nervousness in my stomach. I'm feeling like <laughs> someone being very nervous. Um, I feel like someone doesn't like to be the center of attention. So as pre and I, why am I seeing like the bride just like crying, like especially when she's all done up and made up, and she's seeing. I'm seeing whoever you are. I see <laughs> your makeup is flawless, but you have these beautiful little chubby cheeks. <laughs> like your cheeks, like your your cheekbones are just so pronounced. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just tears running down your face, and people just getting upset with you because you keep crying because of how beautiful you look. I don't think that you've ever really seen yourself done up and made up like that like and it's like you're so nervous to walk out there it's just to have a spotlight on you and be in front of so many people it's just it just makes you it just the butterflies in your stomach it's just almost making you sick <laughs> like it's so crazy Ooh, we got pda we got public display of affection come on now we got prenup oh, no. what else and then we got parents. So, for my group number one, it sounds like in regards to your wedding, that you and your person to be, your husband or your wife to be, that you are very, very affectionate with each other. You're always grabbing each other's hand, like especially your man is always pulling you close. This is the type of man that is not going to let you walk on the outside of the curb. Jesus, this is a person that's not gonna let you work work on the out walk on the outside of the curb. They're gonna be calling you on the time, constantly checking up on you to make sure that you're okay. Do you have lunch? Like, are you stable? Are you happy? Are you good? You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people might possibly be jealous of the type of love and attention and affection that is being given to you because I feel like it may not necessarily be on them. Um, I don't want to necessarily say that there's jealousy of the parents, but I want to say because they know how generous and giving their son is, especially when in love, they're trying to protect their child and their child's assets and money and a very particular of the type of females that this person, because I want to say like maybe this person used to date a whole bunch of sluts in the past. Like a lot of loose girls, especially in college, which just like wowed and just like didn't particularly bring around the most respectful and dainty like females. So I want to say the parents don't have a very good like outlook on their child's judge of character with women. And I feel like the parents don't necessarily know you like that. I don't feel like 
feel like the parents know you like that or they they really took the time to develop a relationship with you they just see like you guys are all over each other and it's just hot and heavy and just very intense and they don't know if this is like just their son displaying that lustful side of them or if this is like really love so they're going to be encouraging the child to like get a prenuptial agreement the parent is and because this person could come from money to like the parents um are probably very wealthy themselves they're very successful their child is very successful um they're definitely going to try to encourage their child to get a prenuptial agreement you guys so this is says uh pda everything from kissing and cuddling to holding hands or exchanging light touches does someone need a room pda like all over each other i even feel like in this type of relationship even even as y'all grow older with each other your man is or even the woman too she's always going to be like grabbing her man's butt oh uh, it's I feel like this man has like a um a chin hair, like, you know, like a goatee or whatever the heck you call it. Like she's always going to be playing in his hair. Just, just very touchy-feely. Very, very touchy-feely. It's his prenuptial agreement. A prenuptial agreement may be needed to be signed before you get married. Parents, it may be that both sides of the family will have to pay for the wedding or play a big role in bringing it together. Yeah. The parents are going to have to, a lot to say about this relationship because I feel like there's some level of protection of assets and money that's going on here. Um, let's find out some information about the masculine energy. Please give me two cards to um, describe the masculine energy. Okay, you got the friends card and uncertain friendship, group, soul tribe, third person, contact, relate, network, show up, hang out, meet in person, social media, interpersonal relationship, togetherness, uh, uh, friendliness, uncertain. At this time, the situation or the outcome is undetermined. And then this is the Scorpio card right here with the number three. So I feel like you guys could um, already be in the same friend group. This person could possibly travel a lot or maybe, uh, I want to say be it from the same institution as you. I'm here at institution. I don't know if y'all go to school, work or something, but this person travels a certain distance to, well, I'm here to relate to you. I just heard like this person doesn't come from far, but they come from like up the road. Like this person would have to travel like, I want to say like 20 to like maybe 45 minutes for you guys to like link up with each other or something like that. Or this could be someone from like a distant friendship group or someone that can connect you by like a distant relative or something like that especially with the third person so it could be that another person introduced you guys also like a far away friend group or a far away relative it's not that far it's like around the corner but it's like this person is not from your neighborhood like you would not have just met this person if it wasn't for the introduction of someone else, if that makes sense. So it's like, y'all might already kind of be friends, but not like you know each other a little bit, but not really. Especially with that uncertain thing, like, because like, you could be going back in your memory, like say, the family member or the third party, it's like, you know this person, you know, and you're just like, uh, I don't know, like, I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you actually meet each other, like, you have no idea who this person is, but y'all have, like, a lot of common 
Y'all have a lot of people in common. So it's like y'all should have known each other, but y'all didn't go to the same group, y'all, uh, uh, school, institution, or something like that. Or y'all don't have the same classes or whatever. Like, But you meet someone by way of someone else. For sure. For sure. I want to say honestly with this uh, with this uncertain card too. I want to say like when y'all first meet each other, like this person may not necessarily understand you, and you might have felt the same way about this person. Like you guys had to like I want to say there had to be some level of great distance to um, build a your a personal relationship to connect with each other. You know, so it's like you guys might have had to like spend a lot of time with each other a lot of travel back and forth back and forth back and forth you know so let me find out um how the feminine energy tell me about the feminine energy we got the scorpio card again we got the crystal ball so i definitely uh, this female energy i want to say is like very focused right now on like centering herself manifesting the best outcome for her future like not really trying to predict or determine what the outcome is but just praying for the best you know not trying to like alter manipulate a guide anything but just praying for the best like i don't even care what where who how it looks or what i just want to be happy <laughs> what type of energy like that is where this feminine energy is i didn't even read it yet and then you got pioneer i'm telling you like yeah, it's, it's something to do with some type of travel Coming a long way, a long distance. Like this person could have came a very long way to receive this. Like you had to be in the right place in the right circumstances. And I got Scorpio on both ends. So I don't know. It's 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 a lot of fixed energy right now. And I want to say what is this Leo too? So like it's a hell of a fixed energy. This is like fixed, fixed fixed energy right now look the one and the two <laughs> okay the one and the two with the crystal ball and the pioneer let me read this it says in institution oh my gosh y'all get the hell out of here institution premonition seeing clearly discernment perception sixth sense instincts divination future planning e s p past present future Gut reaction and annoying. I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, it's like, I feel like I should know you, but I don't know you. But hey, you know, it's like this, this feminine energy has been like praying and just feeding so much positive energy into the universe. And it's not even trying to be in control of the outcome of the future because this female energy is like, in the present, like moving. Like this feminine energy is like thankful for the past because it's helping this person continuously move and be diligent on moving forward to get to the future. But it's like a lot of people be chasing the future that they're not in the present. No, she's in the present. That's what I'm saying. Like this woman is manifesting. This woman is just praying for the best outcome. She's putting the work in diligently right now. She don't even know what she's going into. It's like she don't even care what <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think that this woman even necessarily knows what her type is right now. She'll just it it it's a feeling. Like if you was to ask this woman right now, what is your type? What are you looking for? I'm looking for happiness. <laughs> it's like I'm just going to keep going with this Pioneer card until my gut tells me to stop I don't even know where I'm going I'm going to stop until I feel good until I get that feeling that where I feel good and I'm ready to quit and anchor my horse in like I'm okay boldness destination or bus cutting the ed hold on destination or bus the cutting edge long journey trailblazer 
True Grit Challenge, Navigation, Uncharted Territory, Resourceful Team, Got Your Six, Unflappable Courage. Look, and then Got Your Six, and then the Six Cents, too. That is some powerful energy right there. Y'all are going to meet as friends. I, again, for that level of institution to come out, there is like some focused programming there. So there's like, like you guys are on the same side of a lot of topics and a, and a lot of, you guys are on the same side of the coin in regards to a lot of things because of that fixed energy it's like either you staying on you going average yes or it's no like you guys don't like a lot of muddled ground and people playing around or something it's like either you happy or you sad ever i want you or i don't it's like you know so it's it's easier that way i don't feel like either one of these people like to be played with and like a very fixed very fixed I, like this person doesn't have a lot of fake friends. So this person really trusts. This person doesn't have a lot of fake friends. Like a lot of this, but this, this, this energy right here. These people that are in their life has been around for a long time. So this relationship is going to be around for a long time. I can tell you that for sure. All right, so let's get some more. Uh, tell me some personality traits about the masculine energy here. Ooh, you got passion fruit. Spontaneous, financially stable, great travel buddy. Come, now this is, come on. Come on. Well, I feel like this, this person may have like, uh, family house somewhere in the tropics somewhere and like i'm not talking about florida well this person could be from florida they might have a vacation house in florida but i'm here in santa domingo where the hell is santa domingo at that sounds like somewhere like south america or something i, I just heard portuguese this person could speak fluent Portuguese. Hmm. I just heard could speak fluent Portuguese. Where is Santa Domingo, y'all? Where is that? Anyway. Uh, tell me some personality traits about the female energy, please. Okay, what do we got here? We got banana. Passion fruit and banana. Vulnerable, timid, sympathetic, emotionally sensitive. Oh, okay. I am reloaded. Come on, you little sensitive thing here. I, but I heard primitive though. Like this one, this one knows. This one knows. This one knows where situations is right. They don't like any type of, they don't let things hang on the vine for too long this person is very earthy this woman here very earthy very grounded um i want to say this person has material wealth on their own because maybe not like what you would think uh as material wealth but this person is very grounded and knows how to make anything grow anything grow and is very tapped into nature and spirituality loves animals and i want to say is very green living very green very green and i want to say like this person could be very green in a lot of ways it's like a lot of things that this person doesn't know about and that's probably why that um that pioneer is there so there's a lot of uncharted territory that this person is trying to discover now so this person is in a place of discovery of getting to know their self um, I want to say this, this female energy is stepping out of a box where this person is not ashamed to say, um, I'm 
I'm not with the right people and I just want to change my position and go somewhere else and do what I want to do. Like this person will switch up on you and get the fuck on. It's like this person might get in the habit as they get older of um, moving around a lot. This person might have been like fixated in one place for a very, very long time. And like as they get older, they just get this itch to want to travel and to want to experience different things. So it's like this person may need someone that's a travel partner because it's like something in their gut with this crystal bar. Like their intuition is pulling them other places. It's like they can't stay stagnant anymore. Yeah, it's like I just heard the gut reaction that ESP. It's like you, I, I, I experienced that was a part of my past. In my present right now, I'm supposed to be moving towards my future. So it's like it, this person is in. Why well, I want to say a vortex? I don't even know why in the fuck why I'm even saying this shit like that. Like, where where the hell is that coming from? Any goddamn way. If this person is in just like, I I want to say it in a vortex where they step into this dimension where they're in this other world now. It's like they're no longer who they were. Like they're they're in this different place in this different space of their life where. They have to keep going and keep exploring and keep, um, gosh, what do I want to say? It's like the residuals. It's like, it's like this, uh, bank book of memories. I, I'm seeing like all of these different pictures of, like flashing in my eyes and it's going like in this bank book. It's like a collection or something. It's like this person it's like some history. I don't know why I feel like it's going to go in some type of like history book. Or it's I don't know if this person is going to be like a historian or write. This person has a lot to do with. I want to say change. Or record keeping. I don't know. I'm going too deep into that. I'm going to keep it moving. Um, but let's get into it. That's why with this group, like, I feel like the travel is so important. And for it to say, look, great travel buddy. It says, it literally says great travel buddy here. So it's like they're supposed to experience certain things together. Like they were supposed to connect with each other at this certain place at this certain time. Because these person are, they're about to experience the unknown together. And I want to say it's like this uncommon bond where it's like nobody's like kind of ever. To other people I want to say like y'all's connection may be unnatural. Like maybe y'all connected very quickly and like at first I didn't under, understand each other but then it's like quickly y'all just like oh y'all just start traveling the world with each other and start doing all this stuff it's like where in the fuck y'all get so close from <laughs> like it's just it, it hits people like okay what the fuck is going on here <laughs> like what like I thought y'all hated each other or because I want to say like maybe y'all could have um something could have started out as a disagreement or not an argument but just like I want to say like you guys were like from different worlds or something. But there's like this intent connection to each other. It's just like freaking crazy. All right. Um, let's get into the public display of affection. Clarify the public display of affection, please. Ooh. Ooh. I've just seen the five of wands. I just heard someone say keep, keep, keep your hands off. <laughs> Well, I feel like you're going to be, the feminine energy is going to be very territorial about this person. She might be having to beat other people off with a stick at first. Um, especially with him and his friends, especially with that Scorpio energy, it do kind of get playboy energy. Remember, I did say in the beginning, like, the parents didn't like um, the type of women that the, the male energy had dated before. Passion fruit, passion fruit. I 
I just heard, I'm on you. I'm on, especially if this is a Scorpio, a Scorpio energy, or a Libra, or a Scorpio energy. Like a Libra. Come on, Libra. What a Libra. I mean, oh, I said Libra. Leo. Ooh. A, mm, 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 mm. Let me just shut up. Ooh. You got the fool in the reverse. I heard, like, you know, tired of playing games, tired of, like, the foolish activities or something. So it's like. The feminine energy made this male energy, like, settle down. I want to say not take certain risk in this situation that they might have done with other people. It's like this is a different playground. And it's like I, it's like I don't want to be a player anymore. I don't want to be in a page of cups. I don't want to be immature. It's like this person is like being a Casanova and <laughs> I want to say it's like almost like a ridiculous spectacle of their self, like how romantic and how like unmale chauvinistic that they're being because they're particularly used to being a dickhead and an asshole and would just do risky things like, okay, so for instance, let's say... If it was some woman from the past that would come to this male energy and be like, hey, what's up, big head, blah, blah, blah. This person would completely shoot this person off. It's because I'm in love. And like he would tell the, the woman, like, I'm in love. I'm sorry. I can't like, I'm in love. <laughs> and everybody could be like, what? Like, you really not? Nah, like, this person is not going to take that risk. Like, this person is not with that childish energy because it's like they're dedicating all of their emotion. And it's like this person almost feels like a kid again. <laughs> like, it's like, I really, really appreciate the way that this feminine energy is making me feel like. This person feels the butterflies inside. Like this person be wanting to make like a music playlist just to listen in the car. Like corny shit. Like this person wants to like really make love to this woman. Like this person is not just like about to sit there and just. No, like this person is really being the Casanova and planning out dates and sending the flowers, making sure that this person is happy, telling this person how they make them feel inside, like giving the morning text, like, oh my goodness. It's like this person is not playing around at all. At all. At all. And it's not taking no risk. And it's just like this, this page of cups, it totally is giving that public display of affection that I was talking about. And another thing, like a lot of um, things that this person might have done in their past life, like talent, like this male energy may be willing to show that to you. Um, like this person, like when they were younger, might used to sing the bitches and shit like that. It may not have sung to a woman or wrote a song for a woman in a very long time, but it's like they're willing to do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you make this person feel something different. You make this person really want to say something and express themselves. You know? It's like no childish games. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm not playing around. And I'm not here to make a fool of myself. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a very mature individual at this stage of my life. And when I pour my heart and put my heart on the table like this, like, I, I really mean it. Like, I really, really mean these words. You really make me feel like that. And it's like, when this person begins to sing it to you, like, you feel the intense and the passion and the emotion as this person is singing this song. And, like, this person really can sing. Like, really, really can sing. And it's like, this person could have been hiding the talent from the world. But it's like... 
this person is opening up and wanting to give you everything. And like, I really love this for you. Like, I want to say that this person to the outside looking in could be making itself like a complete fool for you. And, and it may be making other people nervous and things. Because they're like, why are you doing that? Like, why are you acting like that? Like, why are you doing that? Like, because they really love this person. Like, they really, this, this male energy really loved you let's get into this prenuptial agreement why did it, why are the parents and this is going on with the parents and the prenuptial agreement please <clears throat> next in the cups happiness there oh oh Alright, so like we've been down this road before, honey. Oh, we've been down this road before. Okay. Okay. I am reloaded. Okay. Look, the parents is like, baby, with this three <laughs> three of coins, five three of swords, five of pentacles, the strength of reverse, and the nine of cups. We've been down this road before. We done seen my son get their heart broke, get all overjoyed, and out of this. Like your son has been a hurt people and it ended up just because I can even see here with this three of swords and the five of pentacles like maybe your son thought that they really loved someone before and ended up shutting the person out realizing that it really wasn't the right situation for them and then now the parents got to deal with a whole bunch of crying and you know ex um what is what is it uh uh fiance in law or whatever the fuck like bitch we wasn't even never married but this bitch always calling my house and stuff sending this stuff on christmas because she trying to get back in with you and it's like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it's like whoever this person's parents is seeing this individual struggle to finally mature and get themselves to a person to a person where they're confident and emotionally secure on their own and don't necessarily need to drag other people with them in their bullshit. Because I want to say like this, especially if this was a male energy here. Either this person has hurt other women a lot of times. And like the parents had to see it and had to like fuss with their child about, look, you need to have more self-control over yourself because it's like you feed into a temptation with these women and you promised them the world. And I know, <laughs> you know, that your pride and stuff means a lot to you and everything like that. But you're hurting these people. And it's like causing a whole bunch of bullshit. Not only for you, but for your, your mother and I. And I need you to put your dick in your pants. Because you got these women with the five of pentacles crying. Because, <laughs> you know, they thought it was something that it wasn't. And like, we need you to grow up. We, we need you to grow up. So, I want to say... This masculine energy has been, like, just fine on its own. Like, I want to say it has not pulled another individual into thinking that it was going to be something that it wasn't. Like, this person has kind of, like, championed himself and, you know, maybe just having little one-off affairs but not taking it that deep where people have misled the have been misled in the situation where it turns into a whole bunch of drama type of thing like that so like this person has been pretty good so it's like the family's like here we go again and then with this five of pentacles i am kind of getting like beggars or so people that are in not the same condition or situation that they are in so like the family could kind of figure they they kind of look at these type of people like these are people that they rather keep out like the even the type of people that 
the child used to date. These are not people that we want like in our family anyway. So it's like I'm kind of glad that but it's like it's like I need you to get self control. Like I don't like you 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 like the family feels like this man is fine on his own cuz it's it's going to be more of the same bullshit. Like the family feels like I feel like you're better off when you just gallivanting with your friends and going to your wild parties and just, you know, he'll grow up one day. But maybe this is the day. Maybe this is the day. Maybe this person has experienced, you know, success and happiness enough on their own. They're looking for that ten of cups. Didn't I say I seen that ten of cups when I was um um separating the deck? Like, they want a family. And I don't feel like this person is going to mess up this time. For this family, it's like predictable energy. This person always falls in love, think that they're about to have a fiance, always giving these rings out and shit. Like, what the fuck? You just, like, giving out championship rings and shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm sorry. Like, like I'm so sorry. Y'all about to have another bitch crying again. Like, no. And then, I want to say, like, it's not even easy for the 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 male energy, neither. Because it'd be taking them a second to get over these individuals, too. So, it's like, that's what this prenup is about. Like, whatever. Give me some more information about this marriage. Oh, it's going to be summer. Ooh. Yeah, y'all got some money. It's going to be a summer wedding. It says, you'll likely be in the great outdoors at your summer wedding enjoying the great warm weather. Didn't I I'm trying to tell you these people got like a beach house in like the Florida Keys or something like that. It says, the most traditional of the wedding dress choosing to have the ultimate classic ball gown look. Mm, mm, mm. Come on now. Summer wedding. Alright, give me two more cards. What else do we need to know about this wedding? Tell me about this wedding. What is this wedding going to be like? Tell me about this wedding. Oh, it's going to be a big crowd. It's a lot of people. Come on, y'all. What else do we need to know about this wedding? Is there anything else? And it's going, it's going, it's going to be a destination wedding. It's going to be travel um, involved. I'm, you guys are like a travel destination type of group. Like y'all are always venturing off somewhere. These two, always venturing out, and y'all have the money to do it. Y'all have the money to do it, and you have like a lot of successful friends. I want to say it's like a very big wealthy successful friend group come on now it says there's a good chance a large number of people will either show up at your wedding or will want to attend a big crowd and then you got travel you're flying to a foreign land to marry your lover for a romantic getaway told you Told you, I told you I was trouble. Yes, come on, I told you I was trouble. Okay, so um, tell me, give me information on how this relationship is going to be. Give me one card. You got the Queen of Cups. And then you got the world at the bottom of the deck. So this is going to be like a new phase of your life. This is something brand new. This is truly you guys walking into uncharted territory. This is permanent. This is going to stay. This is for real. Um, both of you guys have learned and have challenged yourself. Um, to get to this level of growth and maturity where you can reach the stage of happiness in your life. This is forever. This is forever. And then you know 
that this is my fixed signs. This is the Leo, the Taurus, the Scorpio, and the Aquarius energy here. So this is fixed. So this is forever. This is forever. You guys will be celebrated. The whole world will know. And people are going to want to travel with you. People are going to want to explore with you. People are going to want to be happy with you. Um, this young man in this energy, whoever this is with the parents, they got all the money and all this stuff like that. This person went through their trials and tribulation of heartbreak, breaking hearts, having their heart broke, found success on their own until they were happy and in the position of maturity to really offer herself to someone else and not be scared to show it like this person is not scared to show everybody that they love this woman not at all not at all like i love my wife i will make a fool i like i i don't even care if people think that i'm making a fool of myself like i'm not risking my love i'm not i'm not i'm not doing none of it like I, I i love this I love this. I love that we have this. You got the Queen of Cups, and that definitely um, solidifies that um, banana energy with saying that vulnerable, emotionally sensitive type of thing like that. This is the Queen of Cups, so this is that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy right here. Um, but this is a very loving woman. This is a very nurturing woman. This is a woman that um, sometimes I want to say might not be sure of herself because I want to say that this feels like it's unreal. It's unreal. I, it's for some reason I, I can't. It's like I, I don't believe it. Like I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe it. Like, this woman, she can't believe it. I, it's like, I, it, it's like this woman feels like this is a prank game. Like, someone is playing a game. Like, no, baby, this is real. Like, this person really does love you like that. Like, yeah, this person does have an insane past dating history. Because, <laughs> like, if you was to hear all of the women, like, one day just sit back with, the mother sit back with the mother and she's going to tell you why she wanted you guys to get a prenuptial agreement because she's had absolute nightmares in her past when he was younger and she's very handsome and very successful like if you think that your husband is handsome and successful now oh when he was younger like around 26 27 oh, please like what what? Really in that Playboy shit? What? Oh, this motherfucker had it going on and bitches was called girl. <laughs> okay. I reload it. So like once you get to really talk to your mother in law and you are going to develop a good relationship with the parents. You are. But at first, like they're just gonna be very protective because they don't know you like that. And they're just happy that it took a very long time for their son to grow up because this person would just fuck anything and just do any like this person would just give into temptation at a whim. Like there could have been like a whole bunch of false pregnancy stories. That's like girl, I'm trying to tell you, talk to the mother. Talk to the mother. Talk to the mother. Okay. But do it after y'all already established and happy and you, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you find out too much information in the beginning before y'all actually get married and shit, girl, you're going to be like, oh, no, no, no. I'm just trying to take. But um, look, this is a good man. Savannah, this is a good man, Savannah. Okay? So let's, <laughs> let's find out what your husband is going to like about you sexually. What's going to make this person... What makes you desirable to this person? Especially with all this PDA going on. That's a good man right there. Alright. <clears throat> what? 
makes the masculine energy desire the feminine energy. I just heard it's never the same. Ooh, and then I got zombie. Ah, I just heard it's never the same with you. You always doing something different to me. I just love it. Um, I'm hearing like from the masculine energy, like on a sexual level, from the feminine, it's never the same. It's always a new experience with the feminine. And especially like I feel like when you travel, it brings something different out. It's like y'all will have all of these mental images and just, ooh, 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 y'all know what I just seen? Like, I seen the masculine energy sitting somewhere out, like having like brunch, drinking some coffee, and a song came on and he just trembled because it made him reflect back to them being at a certain resort somewhere and them having like a sexual experience like you guys travel so much and are going to have so like in this relationship y'all going to y'all going to have beach towels from every hotel y'all going to have magnets shot glasses from every place that y'all travel y'all are going to be that couple that when y'all come back from wherever you go, everyone is excited because they know you're going to have gifts for them. Like you're always going to bring a keychain, a t-shirt, some spices, like something. Like everyone is always looking forward to either going to these trips with y'all because there are certain trips with y'all that are just like exclusively just for you and your husband and then there are going to be other trips where other people can tag along and even if they don't get to tag along they know that they're going to get something on the way back that you guys always come back with gifts for everybody okay but not only do you come back with gifts you come back with these memories of y'all just having these very intimate passionate experiences with each other where your man could just hear a song. He could just smell a certain perfume. And it'll just take him back to where y'all was at that beach. And you had that baby suit on. And that fucking wind went up. And your fucking cakes was just caking. And you had that goddamn perfume on that day. And it just made his dick get hard right there. And he got to like that, put the little napkin on his thing. Because he's just like, hold on. He had to call you real quick. Like, girl. Like, where you at? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Like, y'all relationship is just every fucking thing so number one the most important thing that he loves about you baby is that you are dominant that you take control and dominate him in bed he said take control and dominate me in bed it's so sexy oh he loves it this is definitely some scorpio energy so scorpio scorpio what it is poodle what it is he said it's something different every time with you, girl. He said blindfolded. Don't want you to see what's coming. I want to feel you. Don't want you to see what's coming. They want to feel you. Ooh, I'm trying. It's ooh. It's something different. It's something that hit you. Always doing something freaky and just something new. Like, and you did that when we was in Mexico. Like, remember when you blindfolded me and you did that shit and you was sucking my toes and shit like that in Mexico? Bitch, oh, you nasty fucking horror of the explorer. Come on now, horror the explorer. Come on, bitch. This is physical experience. I'm unawakened. I struggle with intimacy. Oh, God, hold on. He said, you open up something. You open the gate, honey. You open the floodgates of sexual intimacy. Like, see, this is the thing. People don't really experience sexual intimacy and pleasure to a level that it should be experienced. You guys just be touching and fucking and rolling around and cotton. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> Y'all just be touching and fucking and rolling the fuck around and cotton. Y'all. Do not be trying to like have sexual experiences where it make the hand the hair stand up on your back and the whole bed sheets are sticking to you because y'all have been sweating that bad. Like listen, when you you were spitting your body is like like I like for real, I don't even look at you as a real contender. If you can't lock me up, if you can't do that to me, bitch. Like, listen to me. If you cannot do me down like that, 
If you can't do me down like that, baby, I, I don't, you, you're not a contender. You're not somebody that I'm going to remember. You're just not. So listen, for this man to say, come on, I, ooh, and I love her tattoo, baby, just a whole, mama, I don't know who you is, mama, but I love your body. That silhouette is everything. And that tattoo, girl, give it to me, baby. Girl, stop it. <laughs> stop it now. I like, ooh, it says choking. I want to choke you while I fuck you hard. Ooh, you're nasty. Look, I'm trying to tell you. Whoever this feminine energy is, you waking something up in this man where, like, on a kink, on an intimacy level, on a deepness level. I don't think that this man has ever like interacted with someone sexually like this a day in his fucking life bitch and you done it bravo bitch okay <laughs> bravo bitch bravo you the top hoe okay bravo you the top hoe okay now let's see what the feminine energy is going to like about her man okay what is going to turn her on about this man Tell me about the feminine energy. What is the feminine energy like about? It's going to like about this man sexually. Ooh, spankers! Yeah! Ooh, oh, hold on. She's about to drop a book on a nigga. She's about to drop a book on you, but honey, I want. She's about to say a lot of things. Okay, you want to say anything else, girl? Cause that's enough. Oh God. Oh, God, she said spankings. She said, I've been naughty. Spank me until I learned the lesson. Oh, I think I think, I think she like to start arguments. Okay, so the feminine energy is something about when he get frustrated and upset. He just be looking at you like, bitch, come in. Just look. Like, I, you, you, you like the intensified uh, sexual aggression. You know what I'm saying? That choking, spanking. Like, you do it. She do it on purpose. She do that shit on fucking purpose. What is this says? Hard to get. I love it when you make me work for it. It's such a turn on. I know it's worked the way. Yeah, she be playing games with it. She be playing fucking games with it. She be starting arguments on purpose just to have passion and get back sex. Like she be playing hide the pussy. Like this bitch be fucking playing with it. She like she it's always something different. It's always something different. It's always a little game. It's always the cat and mouse chase. It's always, uh, come on. Bitch, stop fucking playing with it. Ooh, backdoor sex. I promise to be gentle. I'm coming in through the back. Yes! She ain't even, ooh, she ain't scared. She prepared. She ain't scared. She prepared. Come on! Woo! Okay, I'm sorry. I know my kids is like, what the fuck is my mother in there doing? Oh, it says come inside. I don't want to pull out. I want to come inside you. Oh my gosh. She like to feel that dick throb in her when you busting it open and busting through that back. Oh! Y'all nasty. She said hips. I love gripping your hips from behind as I go hard. She love it when he just go animal style on that pussy. Do you understand? She love it, that feeling of like when he's just ugh, ejaculating and that body is just convulsing inside. The, uh, uh, look, and then she, she be taking her wall and she just be squeezing. She be like trying to squeeze all of it out. Like, yeah, come. Ooh, y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Ooh, but. Gee. See, they don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about like that's why this PDA be like this because it's like, bitch, I'm gonna get you on my fuck the shit out you. You acting up in this form of fool, my strength of shit. Ooh, keep acting up, keep showing off in this motherfucking store, bitch. Ooh, y'all be ah, okay. Boom, okay, group number one. Group number motherfucking one. Your, woo, it is your mother sucking world. God damn, Miss Pam. I do like green eggs and ham. I, I think I do. 
if this is what marriage is going to be like, I think I like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. I got so, I got so. Hey, baby. Okay. I am reloaded, bitch. Let me stop bouncing around, bitch. I'm in here hanging and dangling. I ain't even got no bra on. I'm in here just feeling the breeze like the Ebony's. Okay, bitch, don't do me. I'm in here shaking and earthquaking, y'all. Let me stop before I had to make this motherfucking rated aura. Because I'm a storer. I'm crying. And y'all don't know who I'm aura. Okay, y'all don't really know who I'm more. Y'all don't know who I'm more like that. Y'all do not know who I'm more like that. But group one. <laughs> That was definitely fun, you guys. Shout out to you, boo. What it do? So, y'all, give me a second. Let me take a quick break as I clean these cards up real quick. Reloaded. Okay, I had to do a quick shuffle before we get into the hustle and bustle of group number two real quick. Yes, God. Let's go ahead and put some beautiful S on. So let's put some beautiful S on and some bless on up in the room. Okay, man. Okay. All right, group two. Let's see what it do. All right, so group two. If you picked these beautiful, beautiful little trinkets here and this sticker, you picked dice number one and these beautiful trinkets, that peacock ore, and I think that is, don't get me to start lying on this beautiful goddamn Sunday. I do not know what that orange crystal is, but I know it's pute, I know it's pretty. She pretty. She pretty, ain't she? She is per two. So look, she's all for me. So let's get her back at number one. And let's have some fun here. So if this is the group that you picked, let's find out what's going on with you and your wedding. What is your wedding? What is your love life? What is your husband? What is your marriage going to be like? Can you please tell me for my group number two? This is driving me crazy. That is that Scorpio, Virgo, and me, honey. It, it got to be perfect. I don't like all of that. Um, can, ooh. can you please tell me about what group number two wedding is going to be like? What is group number two's wedding? What is their marriage going to be like? Can you please give me three cards? Okay. Oh, you got pressured. Oh, who got you under pressure? And then you got Bohemian. You have a Bohemian style wedding. But somebody want to be pressured to marry. Hold on. Why? Huh? Man, it's going to be sexual. Hold on. What? What? Give me one more. Two, okay. With child and remarry. Oh. Ooh. Okay. We are reloaded. Now that is the T. So we got pressured, bohemian style, and sexual. All right? And then that was clarified by whip child. And someone's about to get remarried. Okay? Because they're being pressured because someone is with child at the moment. So, whew, that is some tea. So pressured says, proceed with caution if you're feeling pressured to get married. Everyone has different expectations. I just heard I didn't think it was going to be like this, but, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do anyway. I just heard someone pressured the other one to stay by being sexual. I heard by sexual explicitities. Is bohemian your bohemian wedding will look cool and carefree but still beautiful and your decorations are simplistically elegant 
sorry, excuse me, your bohemian wedding will look cool and carefree, but still beautiful, and your decorations simplistically elegant. So it's like it's not an expensive wedding. I want to say like it has like a kind of cultural aspect to it, even though I feel like that culture is not the... <laughs> It's not the culture of the person doing it, but it's like more of a kind of like trendy thing or whatever. So it's like has like a very like, you know, bohemian essence or whatever to the wedding. Like it's very cost effective, but it was like very nice. I want to say earthy and free flowing. I want to say it was put together like to the dime it was like budgeted but it looked very beautiful and sophisticated and it looked like it cost a lot of money it says sexually the sexual energy will be off the charge during the wedding expect to have the best sex ever okay all right so it looks like i mean It looks like, I mean, even though the pressure was kind of on because there's someone clearly with child, I mean, the sexual energy and the chemistry is still there. It's still off of the charts. I mean, it's, I just feel that maybe the expectancy of getting married came too early because of the situation. I wanted to, and, and because of this remarried here, it's like this person just got divorced not too long ago i don't feel like this person was expecting to be pressured to be married again this soon it's like i want to say this person kind of just wanted to go with the flow and just enjoy what they were doing because they're definitely enjoying what they were doing you know what i'm saying but it's like okay with child becoming pregnant before marriage may require you to take the expressway to your marriage to your wedding day yeah it says entering the second marriage can be better the second time around it's the beginning of a new chapter. I mean, so, I mean, uh, uh, it, it, it's not as bad as it seems. It's not, I want to say, like, I mean, you clearly got pregnant because you guys passionately enjoyed what y'all were doing. And I think that y'all are just going to get married to continue to enjoy what y'all are doing. This is not somebody that is, like, a commitment, folk. This is someone that will marry you. And I, I feel like the connection... Whoever this person is getting married for the second time, like this relationship is going to be the best one of all. It's going to be the best one of all. So, I mean, I just don't, I don't think that you guys, I don't think that you guys thought it was going to be this way. That you guys were going to end up getting pregnant and being married. To, like that was just not the expectation whatsoever but it ended up being like the most blessed thing for the both of you guys like you guys have this beautiful marriage and this beautiful family and it's like I'm not mad at either one of you guys so let's see give me some guidance give me two cards to represent the masculine energy please tell me about the masculine energy in this situation please Give me two cards to represent the masculine energy. You got Sapphire. Very mature. And you got the winter. So this might be a winter baby. You got Sapphire. I think Sapphire is like Virgo. Isn't it the uh, birthstone of Virgo? And winter. So this might be a winter marriage. Or like I said, a winter baby. So it says mental force, spiritual insight, hope, faith, wise judgment, power, and strength, kindness, the life of the party, an extrovert, motivate, precious, valued, holy, divine, favored, revered. So this is like a very important person. I want to say the person could like hold like some level of leadership. This person might thrive very well in group settings. This might be like the smartest person in the group or the one that's revered as 
the one with the most wisdom, the best guidance. Um, this person could be a guidance counselor or um, a self-help coach or a life coach or something like that. Um, a doctor or... Um, I don't want to say like a healer. It's more someone that you can talk to to receive therapy or insight on like what to do or to get you the best outcome in something. So like this is like some type of advisor. Someone that is well versed and well studied. Very mature person. Um, I don't see this person being someone that gets into a lot of arguments. This person is very calm and will talk to you very calmly. And I really feel like if they, if they feel like they ever have to turn down their cool, like they're such a cool person, like if they ever feel like they got to raise up the temperature on you, they'll just get away from you before they would ever embarrass themselves or mistreat someone. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm getting the sign of Capricorn, also the sign of Aquarius, and what is this, the sign of Pisces right here? So this is like... um. Like I said, the winter quarter. And this is with this says within the next nine to twelve months you could be meeting this person. And you know, we're already, you know, facing out of August. So we're going into September, October, November, you know, so yeah. So we're close to that time. So you may be meeting this person around the winter seasons. Or this could be like a winter baby. So let's find out about the feminine energy, please. Okay. We got unchanged. At this time, this situation is stable and unlikely to change. Okay, let's see. We got the number six. This woman could be born in June. This, that's a lot. I was not asking for all of that. <laughs> I was not asking for all of that. So... So we got unchanged. I feel like number one, this could be a June baby. So this could be someone that is what is that? That's like um Gemini Cancer, right? That's Gemini Cancer. Yeah. So I feel like this person has kind of been stagnant within their love life for a minute. I want to say it's like stale waters. Just like still, still water. For like a long time. I want to say that this person has been in a place of waiting. They've just been surrounded around like a lot of family and friends. Like being stable within their own territory. It could have been in a space where they thought like things were unlikely to change in their love life. So you got the, you got the well. You have the yacht. So things moving forward. And things are definitely not drying out if you got the well there. So, you, you know, so things are starting to flow more emotionally. And then you got within a few weeks. So things have been unchanged for a long time for this feminine energy in regards to like love and relationships. So this person could have been, I want to say could have been single for the past six years. Six months, six years. I'm, I'm leaning towards six years. Like this person has not had like a really successful, stable relationship. Not saying that they ain't never get their little swerve on or nothing like that, but not has not been in a real serious relationship within the, within the last six years. It has been a long time. You got the well. They've been looking for something deeper. Look, it says deeper meaning, community, hidden emotion, nourishing, social resources, true feelings, support, saving, perception, substance, looking deeper, provided for, consciousness. Yeah, this person, it's, it, this, this female energy right here has been looking for something that where she would never feel alone again. Something that is uh, fulfilling. Something of substance. Something, like it says, it's that's deeper. Something that would really make her feel. Where her valley would never run dry. Like things have been dry. Things have been um, stagnant. 
And it's because this woman wants something that she could feel. Something that she could hold on to. Something that could last forever. But it looks like there's going to be overflow enough for you to sell chips. So much vastness of emotional wealth. It's this adventure, affluence, luxury, mobility, travel, great ease, smooth selling, sophisticated. I told you this person is very sophisticated, very, uh, I want to say regal. Look at this sapphire. Like this is like this is giving me something of like royal favor of just like hierarchy. Like this is someone that um if this is someone that works like for some type of government entity or something like this could be someone that's very high ranked. Like their grade could be like a 30 something. Like they're like a grade 34. Like this person is expensive. This person is very important and makes a lot of money and is a a, a very high stakes poker player or something. Very high stakes. It says, um, sophisticated, whip the wind, self-indulgence, prosperity, comfort, wealth, over-the-top extravagance. So it's going to be to where is though, because I want to say this woman is very emotionally mature. Extremely emotionally mature. I think she would rather have a stable environment than like coarse winds and storms and a lot of chaos. So I want to say you appreciate it being this way, but it's like now you kind of want enough gust of wind where you can sail, you know. It hasn't been good weather enough for you to go outside and enjoy a day on the water. It was no wind. You know, it was not enough wind. It wasn't enough gust of wind to catch a good sail for you to go somewhere. Like now, not only is the water flowing, because for the well to be there like that, it's enough richness for you to feel fulfilled. Like, you really feel fulfilled. Like, the conversation is flowing. Like, there's a level of intelligence there. There's a level of integrity there. There's a level of, like, girthiness there. It's, it, it, I mean, some substance. Like, you really feel like this person is bringing something to the table. Um, something with a level of maturity and richness. Uh Stability is not even the it. It's a level of like you ever. I'm getting like a buttered croissant. You ever take a bite into a buttered croissant that was just so freaking delicate, but so rich and just buttery and just good. Like you could have eaten. A dozen of them, but they they're too rich where your body won't allow you to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you want to overindulge, but you can't because it's so rich. You want to enjoy the taste. You want to have some more for later. Like you don't just want to. Uh, <laughs> it's too expensive. Do you understand to just blow through a box of chocolates like that it's too rich it's too expensive you you really have to savor the taste and just i want to say god afforded this for you like he did i want to say on your downtime on the study time like this six years while you were by yourself the wisdom and the maturity that you gained throughout that time afforded you a man of this caliber. Like, you have a lot. Because it's so much that you have to talk about. It's so much that you have gained. It's so much that you have um, life experience and tales to tell about. Like, you guys can talk forever. I, I, I don't know why I feel like this is like a mature couple. This is a mature couple. You guys are like older. You guys are older, I want to say. But you particularly, it says within 
a few weeks, this situation or event in question will develop or unfold within a matter of weeks. So you are about to meet this person very soon. Very soon. And it's going to be free flowing. It's going to be free flowing. And it's like in a gust of wind. It's just going to sweep you up like a gust of wind. Like you want to be swept up and swooped away. <laughs> like you're going to be swept up and swooped away in someone's big, luxurious yacht. Crazy. You got the sign of cancer out here. And you also got the sign of Gemini out here. Crazy. Wow, like you've waited for a long time for this, and it's going to happen quickly. I feel very, very quickly. Okay, so give me uh, some personality traits of this masculine energy here. This winter baby. Yes, winter, this winter child. This Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. And then the sapphire has to sign the Gemini as well. And I said something about a Gemini because of the number six was right here. And Gemini is in this card too. So my, my, my Gemini. Okay. My, my, my Gemini. And then this is the sign of eight. This is the number eight. And we are in the month of August currently. They're saying within the next few weeks in the next few weeks honey Woo! so let's see give me some guy okay so we got champagne we got the sign of Capricorn it says successful gracious life of the party this masculine energy is weapons I told you guys the Capricorn I told you Capricorn energy we control Capricorn, their like ego, it, 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 they are we control. Remember, I was saying like mental force, spiritually, like I'm trying to tell you. Champagne, successful, gracious, life of the party, the masculine energy. So let's see. Tell me about the feminine energy. Please tell me about, okay? And you got beef kebab, Sagittarius, self-sufficient, trailblazer, busy, outspoken, and honest. So you got Sagittarius and Capricorn. All right, what's going on? All righty then. All righty then. Alright, alright, so like, um, let's see, let's clarify some stuff. So, tell me how the, the Capricorn, the Champagne Bringer, Fun Slinger, how does this person truly feel about being pressured in this wedding? And it's this child. Ooh. You got the six of pentacles. And then you got the two of pentacles. So this person is just like. I have enough. To take care of what I need to take care of. And there are certain things that I might just have to sacrifice. That I can't do anymore. And um, it's just time for me to grow up a little bit. You know. So. I do feel like this person is happy about this child. This person does not feel any type of way um, about the sacrifice that it has to make, that this person has to make. Um, it's not something that's going to throw his lifestyle off of balance or anything like that. It's, it may be certain things that this person needs to let go and it might just be time for this person to let this shit go. <laughs> you know, so it, it's going to be something that the masculine energy is going to have to release in order to... Uh, 
I just heard make amends. It's, it's, it's like I'm going to have to. It's something that this person is going to have to let go. In order to live a certain lifestyle. And to be this married person that they're going to have to be again. So maybe it is that life of the part. I feel like it's like this person is going to have to kind of like settle down. I just don't think that this person was looking forward to doing this again so soon. It just, it just, I want to say like it kind of threw this person off. Give me guidance with this with child and remarry. How does this person, okay. The seven of swords and then you got the sun, but you got the happiness though. I feel that this person this person feels like you saved him from a certain lifestyle that this person was unfortunately getting used to but really needed to kind of like this person was trying to break away but I want to say didn't know how to do it now this person has an escape goat they have like a reason to say, okay, well, I can't do this no more. I can't be here anymore. I don't want to be around these people. I don't want to be in the same situation. So it's like, I want to say, but it's like this person is happy. And then you got this child here too. So it's like, I was able to escape an unhealthy lifestyle into something happy. Something that is going to help me grow. Something that um, I can display my maturity, um, my intelligence. It's like some type of adaptability skills too. Like this person knows how to adapt. It's like this person knows how to watch somebody do something and pick up on something quickly. Like this person is very intelligent. I'm hearing it's like someone watched and studied someone do something, picked up on it, and, and it helped them so that they can move on. So, it's like I had to leave, release something. So, you see how, even though, I want to I wanna say someone kind of feels like you criminal for doing this a little bit. But it's like you happy. It's like you got away from something. But you left something the fuck behind. You left something behind, bruh. Somebody, something got left off. Some got dropped off where they... <laughs> someone got dropped off where they got lost. Okay? Someone got dropped off where they got lost. I don't know. It's like... I'm here, but you lost me, though. Like, you lost me. So, it's like I had the perfect excuse to go and do something else that made me more happy. <laughs> like you guys, somebody got dropped off where they got lost. Like someone, you, like you, you lost me. So I really wasn't playing favorites. I was playing for me. Cause it's like the five of swords. So it's like someone, someone unfortunately in this situation, whoever it is, like you getting remarried. So someone could feel like. I want to say someone in the past situation could feel hurt or feel slighted because this man remarried with you and is happy as shit somewhere else. Like dead ass. <laughs> and it's like you got the yacht. You got the whale. Like, <laughs> like you. It, 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 for something with this Sagittarius energy, you are more self-sufficient. You're a trailblazer. You're... You have your own shit going for you. You're busy. You're outspoken. You're honest. I want to say whoever this feminine energy, it's like they, you are time enough for this individual. This person, no, they can't play no bullshit with you, but you don't, it's like this person don't have to. Someone here. I want to say 
this person, especially with this two of swords, let, let's study the seven of swords real quick. This person with the two of swords in the dirt right there was, settled, was settling and was sitting on a decision. I mean, for a long time. This person could have been not in a committed situation at all, but was still married to the person, but never got the fuck up and signed the divorce papers or filed the papers or did whatever the fuck to make it legal so it's like they could have been this person could have been dating somebody but could have still been married to somebody else so it you know what i'm saying like for a long time like this person could have been single but married and i mean probably hasn't even talked to the person that they were married to for like two hasn't talked to hasn't seen this person but it's like I, I really don't. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you why this person was just sitting on the decision and just living life and just never got up to filing the papers. But it's like now that this person is happy, you got a new family. It's like it's the perfect reason for me to finally get this person up out of my hair legally and I don't have to deal with you no more. <laughs> like at all at all so whoever the person was that the male the masculine energy it got away from like permanently it may be in a lose-lose for you because from what i am seeing here this person is very happy in this new marriage very happy with this child and it's going to be a boy too so it's like this person finally is going to have a son there's going to be a lot of beach time. Or why I just feel like this, this baby is going to be born in a sunny area. Or You guys live somewhere where it's no winter. I want to say that. Like it's no winter. It's no winter. Like whoever this male is got away from the circus. It's like now I, I permanently have no reason to talk to you. Associate with you legally. Nothing. Like you... Are an X factor and are moving on. So it's like, why well, I feel like someone has like a timeshare or something, or like a, a boat or some type of property or some type of assets or something that whoever the 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 ex is, it this person no longer has access to anymore. It's not yours. You're not my partner on paper. Like you cannot come here anymore. So if somebody just like literally like this is for me, my new wife and my child, like this person is remarried and happy and happy, happily remarried. Happily. It was like the maybe the first time I didn't necessarily know what I was doing in this person should have been got away from this person and went out to really seek happiness but I you know I'm just like what's the point of rocking a boat and then like swords for sale so this person may be like off loading like a whole bunch of old personal items anything that represented that old lifestyle that old situation this person may be selling an old house or something like that Oh, I just heard someone say, why don't you just give it to me? And the, and the, male said, and the man said, no, it's going on the market. I'm not giving shit to you. <laughs> like, whoever this is in this divorce, this man ain't giving shit to you. You did, who, who ain't giving shit to the person that they're divorcing. This person is going to have to go and find success in a yacht and vacation homes or whatever the fuck it is like whatever assets we had i bought to liquidate that shit then no go buy your own property like <laughs> like someone thought that like maybe i can buy you out no we're liquidating it go buy your own shit and like the market not even the same or something like that so it's no way in hell that this person is going to be able to go and afford a house like that even on the breakdown it's no way so whoever the fuck 
person is getting rid of is going to be mad. And it's like almost like deservingly so because this man deserves to be happy. But if this baby wouldn't have, if this wouldn't have happened like this, this man would have never got up off his foot and did it. He would have never did it. And, he, and, and he's more happier this way. And finally got his son too. What? All oh, this man is about to start living in the most happiest stage in his life. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so freaking beautiful, y'all. Y'all just don't even understand how beautiful it's about to be. Please give me more information about this marriage. Look, you got the vows. This The wedding vows will be something to remember. A true testament of their love, promise, and commitment to you. This, this is the real shit right here. This is the real shit. Like things, things for the feminine, things were stagnant for a reason. Because this is what you really deserve that is coming to you. I mean, so much overflow that you can, you can sell vast lands together. Vast lands together. And I mean, someone is really, really committed to you. Is there any other messages? And it's spiritual. Listen, this is a spiritual love. God did this for you. God did this for the best of y'all. God did this. Look, I said God did this for the best of y'all. God did this for the both of y'all. It says you might use astrology to time your spiritual wedding and invoke the angels to bless your union on this special day. This relationship is blessed. That is why this person... That is why this person, I, I'm like, what is this person having to sacrifice? It's this ex-wife. Like, this person has got to get this woman out of his pockets for fucking good. I'm not helping this person no more. No more. Now, cause, are y'all understanding it now? Are y'all getting it? What? What? Not taking care of you no fucking more. I got like, what? Bitch, get the fuck on. Please get the fuck on. Alright, tell me um, on an intimate level. Tell me about the intimacy. How does the masculine energy feel about the intimacy of this relationship? What turns him on about his wife? What turns him on about his wife? Okay. Ooh, submission. Completely submit to me and let your desires run free. Ooh, he likes that you are very submissive. Group number two, you are very submissive. Ooh, Capricorn, you got it going on. Wow. Woo! Ooh, ooh. Yeah, look, look, look. Use protection. Chow, too late for that. Look, should have used it. Too late for that. You already pregnant. <laughs> too late for that. Look, too late for that. And this person likes, ooh, mm, mm, mm. whips, chains, and all type of things. It says, experimental lover. I'm willing to try anything once. It's only fun if you try new things. Mm, mm. Living dangerously. Living too dangerous for me. Listen, just make sure you use safe words. Make sure you do with whatever it is that you're supposed to do. Y'all, y'all research what y'all doing, y'all, because I'm just trying to tell you. Woo, submission, experimental love, and use protection. It's too late. It's too late, baby. It is too late. You already got a pregnant poo. It says lingeries. The lingeries. It says, I love how you seduce me with your darling lingerie. Oh, your lingeries tingling me. Your lingeries be tingling me, baby. Oh. All right. How does the feminine energy feel about her masculine, dominant, raunchy, haunchy, goddamn man? Oh, trying to drop a book on me too, girl. I'm going to take it. Oh, oh, oh. This says hands. I fell in love with the way you touch me. Ooh, she loves the way he touches and just grabs her and just, ooh, she be having a grip them bed sheets. He be tying her ass. Ugh. 
It says, sleeping princess, I'm going to wake you up with me inside you. Ooh! How? Yes, sir! Yes, girl. I would love that about him, too. Oh, my goodness. No wonder why she was growing up damn sheets like that. That's how he, That's how you be waking up. Going to Nickelodeon like that. That's how you be waking up, girl. Jesus! Yes! Self-pleasure. I want to watch you please yourself. Ooh. Oh, he likes to watch you play with the button, girl. Oh, yes, man. Sensual music. Let me set the mood right with some seductive music. Okay. Okay, so you like to play with yourself and, and, and let him watch. I feel like th these are demands from your man as well. And you most definitely oblige him. You are very, very experimental with your man. Y'all like to watch a lot of porn and like get into a lot of kinky shit. And y'all definitely indulge each other's fantasies. I love it. I definitely love it. Let's get a few more cards. Tell me about the honeymoon. What's going to happen in the honeymoon? Ooh! Ooh! Tell me about the honeymoon. Ooh! Baby, that's a lot. That's a, It's going to be a lot going on, baby. It's going to be a lot going on. So, number one, I already seen it come inside me. I already see how you got pregnant. I already see how you got pregnant. I already see how you got pregnant, girl. Girl, it is your fucking world it is your world don't you ever let anybody tell you anything different don't you do it all right bitch i see how you got pregnant it says begging tease me make me beg for it i will work for your love Ooh. Woo! Mm. Ooh. this person like playing a dirty little game it says face fucking i want to fuck that pretty face of yours until i make you cry Ooh. Y'all, oh, we got the tears running down your eyes, your nose dripping. You just, uh oh, uh, oh, why am I here in my sex room? Do, 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 do. Is that Trey songs? Do, 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 do. In my sex room. Uh! Drunk sex. Let me strip you of all your inhibitions. Okay, y'all be getting a little loaded. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. It says fun. Love your creative playfulness. It's cute and naughty. Oh my goodness, I cannot take you guys. These are the last cards and we can up out of here, you guys. It says, slutty, be my slutty girl tonight. It will be our little secret. Mmm, you want nasty candles and wax play. Let the wax drip down slowly so I can feel the bird. Oh, y'all know, really getting into it. I knew what I said, I knew it was going to be a lot. <laughs> Oh, I knew it was going to be a lot. It says, keep the lights on. I want to see your face when I fuck you. Mm. Oh, it is safe to say it's a lot going on when the children come out to play. Listen, it said use protection. It's too late. It is too late. It's too late, y'all. I already see how you got pregnant. I already see why this man is in love. I already understand why he's willing to sacrifice everything. Because this man was not, like, this man was just married by paper. Like, I don't know why people do that. Like, if y'all not together anymore, it's like, I get it. He's like, and now, like, now I got to pay to get rid of this bitch. And, and it was like, as long as the bitch ain't bothering me, like, shit, she ain't like, I don't give a fuck about what this bitch doing. Like, if she needed a few dollars or whatever, like, it's my ex-wife. Like, I, I am my helping the bitch out. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now, like, things change. I can't do that no more. Like, I am not an adulterer. Like, to me, like, I feel like me 
extending myself to take care of another woman that was a woman from my past that I'm no longer associated with would indeed be me disrespecting the vows that I have with the person that I'm in a relationship with, i.e. my wife. So I cannot be involved with you anymore. You're going to have to go and figure out your own shit because I have to dissolve every single thing that I have to do with you. And I really don't care how you feel about it. We should have did this shit two years ago. Like, this shit should have been done two years ago. And this man allowed you to get away with... You know what I'm saying? Like, this man allowed it because it really wasn't bothering him. And it wasn't no sweat on him to throw you a couple of dollars or help whatever your benefits was or whatever. But now, bitch, you gotta go. You gotta go. Like, I'm not... I can't... I'm not, I am not, I'm only one person and I do have enough to give with that six of pentacles, but I'm not about to give to you and give to her too. No, I'm only taking care of one of y'all and bitch, you got to go. I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for you. But anyway, y'all, this has been your reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this because I thoroughly enjoyed this reading, y'all. I really need to get back on my shit. I've just been too freaking busy, but I love you guys. Anyway. Um, y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed this, y'all. The best way to get more content like this from me is by liking, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video, and commenting. Let me know that you're here. Interact with me. Put some stars down in the chat. If you've gotten this far, let me know what group y'all selected. And let me know what type of pick a card readings y'all are looking forward to in the future. Because um, we definitely want to get into it, alright? I love you. Peace.